University of Toronto professor Jeffrey Hinton has been awarded the 2024 Nobel Prize for Physics alongside John Hotfield for their groundbreaking contributions to the development of machine learning through neural networks, which laid the foundation for modern AI. For a long time, people have been trying to figure out how the brain decides how to change your connection strength. That's, that's how your brain works, just by changing connection strength so that it now computes something different. And I spent the last 50 years working on various theories of that. Um, and one of these theories involved a lot of physics. And that's the theory for which we got the Nobel Prize. Artificial intelligence has become increasingly integrated into various aspects of our lives in recent years from entertainment and social media to military applications. Wouldn't you like to go to a family doctor who's seen 100 million patients and knows your entire genome and knows the results of all the tests performed on you? Your current family doctor can't remember the results of all the tests performed on you and doesn't know your genome and has only seen a few thousand patients. Um, you're going to get just much better health care. It can customize care and experiences to suit the need of the user, but it can also be exploited by humans for harmful purposes, like military weapons that independently decide who to target, and increasing fake news across platforms. If it gets to be much more intelligent than us, and most of the researchers think it will, they just differ on when they think it'll happen, um, how can we be sure it won't just take over? And at present, we can't. We don't know how to be sure it won't take over. We should be doing lots of research on that. AI works much more like the human brain than conventional computer codes. They are a model of human intuition. They're not a model of sort of explicit rule following like normal computer programs. And so they really are much more like us and they really do understand the language they're saying. So we need to worry a lot about that. Hinton is donating half of his cash award to waterfirst.org, collaborating with Indigenous communities to provide training and education initiatives to tackle the lack of clean drinking water. And it's ridiculous that a rich country like Canada should have these communities where you just don't have safe drinking water. It's just insane. It's, it's disgusting. Hinton will be encouraging young researchers to focus on AI safety and urging governments to allocate resources to support that work. In Toronto, Beverly Andrews, City News.